What's up guys, it's Mr. Jamvin and today we are back on the Pokemon Showdown server as we continue for to top 10. I think we have two losses in hand to give and if we... Give me a sec, let me update y'all. I think we're at 1800, yeah, under that. Um, I have one loss, I thought I had two. <laughs> so we cannot lose a single game where the road is over. Um, but as I said, you know, if you didn't miss the last episode, you know, I've been dumb busy, man, and so I didn't, you know, I was going to end this a while back when we, the goal was 10, but, um, you know, I am not playing up to the par of what I'm capable of. I'm probably at 70% right now, um, and I'm aware of that, um, but my only options right now that, my op options right now are either I don't upload, and I know you all have really been enjoying it. Um, so I can make the time to sit down and practice and get back up to speed then I would have started again But I would give you you know, it would there be no videos for a bit That or I just kind of just whatever just figure it out as we go if I lose I lose no shame in that You know losing is good all that great stuff um, And then when I get the opportunity because I have two major writing projects that I need to get done I need to just get it done because it takes up too much of my mental energy when those are done, then I can sit down and focus. Okay, but I've just come to the conclusion I have to get those done. There's no way I've been putting it off and been inch. I just need to get them the fuck done. And if that means focusing on that for just two weeks solely, then that's just what I'll have to do. But when they're done again, can get back to the groove of quality content because I don't, you know, I don't like putting out shit where I'm just like not playing well. So yeah, that's pretty much the update on that. Bonus 1802. Um, very weak to Coco. No good Coco switching. I don't have much for Mew. I don't remember how Assurance works. Don't remember how Assurance works. Obviously, Cloister is a problem. Uh, Clef is Max Pedef. Skarm shuts down. Cart. Dragonite. Frankly, only the Blacephalon can beat my Skarm. Skarm wins. So, Blacephalon shuts down by it. Da, da, da. So, we get rid of Mew first, which would invite in Cloyster. I, I just don't remember how Assurance works. If I invite in Cloyster and he shell smashes, I think you have to touch me that turn for Assurance to. Hmm. What I shall do, I'm just going to, st how does assurance work? Doubles in power of the target are already taking damage. Okay, got you. So I could one shot this. That'd give a, a lot of risk. It's a lot of risk. Um, choice banded crunch versus a minus defense cloister. Yeah, I'll just, um, I, the thing about it, I'm thinking, well, I could just stone edge twice, which would prevent cloister from setting up. Um, this could go a couple different ways. So it's Colbert. Okay. I'll take that. I don't mind that at all. Uh, so my goal here is simply to prevent the cloister from setting up. I don't think I have defog on anything, so I'll just have to deal with that. Defog is whatever, honestly. It punishes T-Tar, but beyond that, um, you know, I live. I Coco's way too important. Eh, I think he's just going to spike. If he explodes, that's, uh, yeah, okay. And this puts me in a phenomenal position. Like Positioning-wise, this is what I want, because this forces in Blacephalon, um, it could be Scarf. It could be Scarf. Um, I'm CM, obviously. Uh, what double would make sense if that were the case? He would need. I'm gonna go Clefable here. Um, Mind blown. X. That's actually really good. As I said, my my Tyrant so Moonlight, Sticky Barb, uh, Soft Boiled. Doesn't really help me. So the one of the steals come in. Uh, 
Doesn't really help me. If he mind blowns again, that's best case. So we'll soft boil. Visharp comes in. What does that mean for me? I moon blast twice. Now I'll just moon blast hard here. I don't want Bisharp coming in for two hits. I'll give up um, Clefable on a life orb hit. What I'm assuming would be um, him just having to knock me out here, which is best case. And then um, I, th I don't think I think Sticky Barb works if you lose your item or something like that. But as long as I can stop this from boosting, then I get to go to Top of Coco. Excellent. Um, I get to go to Top of Coco and fire off one of these yummy thunderbolts here. I could have seen him there, but the risk versus reward isn't worth it there if he iron headed for some reason. And so Blacephalon comes in. Uh, we can now go to Tyranitar. He'll never mind blowing there. Uh, there's no reason to shadow balls and drops to Spadef. But as I said, Cloyster is just the main thing to keep at bay. Um, Kartana makes sense, a lot of sense. Uh, but at this point, <laughs> Um, mm, a double the Lando would, I mean, a double the Cloister would suck, but I'll just knock the Cloister's item off and then knock him out with Sloking. Uh, cause like Skarm, I, mm, even if it's speed boosting, I'll be fine. I don't think there's any double he can make that I can't punish. Um, the goal really is if I can is to get rocks up. Uh, primarily so that Blacephalon can't keep coming in. But if I go Lando on this Kartana, he's in a really bad spot. If I go Skarm on this Kartana, he's in a bad spot. So I, I, I technically could double Stone Edge. It's pretty low risk. Um, I just like to have the primary check to that Blacephalon. That could get annoying um, and really dangerous depending on what happens. <clears throat> uh... And if he doubles to Blacephalon here, right, Landorus never dies. So this is our best case scenario. Um, mind blown, he'd have to fire blast or shadow. I, I really don't want him shadow balling and then me not get a kill. Stealth Rock is, okay, I'll take that. Yep, that's perfectly fine by me. So now we can just go to Coco. I like Coco because it keeps the Cloister at bay. I'm surprised Cloister was his initial, considering it just means that he loses a mine. Um, I no longer need Tyranitar. He's probably banded E-Speed the way he's playing. Um, okay, and now we get to just Iron Defense here. Ice Punch, I'll take that. He's scum, so I'm going to just... Uh, me body press now before we start playing these games. But this is the position we wanted, right? We identified that Skarm was a huge issue. Uh, it's just, you know, there's a lot of, like, Scarf Blissef there. If it caught my, what's it called? Yeah, these are the things that we just don't want. Um, so, thankfully, he didn't get what he wanted. As uh, Skarm, Cloyster, man. <laughs> the Cloyster cheese, bro. The closer cheese never stops. This isn't going to be the longest vid. Um, it's not going to be the longest vid. But I, I like how I played that one. I just tried to play around all kinds of cheese. I'm like, I know cheese is in there. I just don't know where. Uh, and so when you face those teams once, whether you win or lose, it's irrelevant as long as you pull a lesson from it, obviously. Um, and then once that lesson, yo, what's good, Holmes? What's good? Um, so, Tarnatar like here, very fun mind. Do I fire punch? No. Um, Skarm's an interesting one. It'll depend on a few things. Fin on what his Clef is, what his Finny is. Uh, I destroy him with Coco if Ferrothorn gets dropped. He has a, a solid team. I'm going to have to disrupt it a bit to get a lot of leverage here. Because he has a very, very dis, like annoying team. Um, and I don't have any one thing that can just hammer through it. 
Um, now that he's clicked the timer right as the battle starts, so I know he's probably not too well thought out as far as his game plan, which is something I'll use to my advantage. If possible, I'll play to the Skyrim game. Um, Clef is going to be necessary for... I need rocks. Rocks, Benedict, Lele, uh, Garchomp. Yeah, I need rocks. I wouldn't be shocked to see Ferrothorn. The Clef does, like, have red flags, right? I don't... Part of me is like, eh, it could be some kind of sticky barb stuff. Um... I want rocks. I really don't know what to do. If he has like Ice Beam or something, so it'll be a trick. Yeah. Just to keep our. Um, cheese, man. I, I knew. I mean, I got some cheese myself, so I can't really say shit. Uh, I'll probably end up having him knock my item off at some point, though. Leftovers. I want the leftovers. I want the leftovers on him. So I'm going to take... Well, we're going to be trading this leftovers back and forth. Um, mm -hmm. Garchomp, Rocky Helmet. No, it's just rough skin. Interesting. So he's probably offensive chomp. Huh. No, it's leftovers. It's very interesting gonna trick here um get his leftovers if he leaves it in it's we're, we're both both our ground types are sticky barb i wanted to go to skarm there and lay up a spike but again i was thinking well if you went yeah i was hoping to catch pharaoh i didn't think he'd hard ferrothorn but uh more than happy with that i have no defense investment uh so well, I'd, we both have Sticky Bar, but I'd really like, I'd really appreciate it if he knocked mine off. Um, I would like to keep my Rocky Helmet, but I don't think I can afford to. Uh, we'll spike here to punish. So he's playing the spike game. Problem is the Sticky Barbs are really hurting. Um, and the main thing he has to shut this down is his Finny. Let's see. Spike, spike again. Question is, does he have gyro ball? Okay, so we're playing the hazard game. I think he gets punished a bit more than I do. Uh, roost here. Get back up to full. Um, hmm. Like, as you see, like, the chomp gets eaten. So, uh, Lando would take around a sticky barb. Alternatively, I could go hard cliff. It doesn't make sense for a defensive chomp to try to EQ a potential max defense cliff. So, I'm assuming one would go hard ferrothorn and take another round of sticky barb. Um, or he thought that I would, but I have Sticky Barb. Why would you? Th he, he, I'm pretty sure he just predicted me to go Skarm and Leech Seated. But with Sticky Barb and the, all the hazards, he gets punished by hazards heavy. Like, Clef is his only savior. And since I took his Ferrothorn's leftovers, this puts him in a really awkward bind. Um, he could EQ. Again, I'm assuming you think I have some defense in the Clef, so EQ would literally be just giving Garchomp up. Right, so Clef. It's unaware. Yeah, you definitely shouldn't have traded hazards with me. Um, you were no, you had no business trading hazards with me. Like this game might just be over now, especially if that Finny is in defog. Uh, cause now I just go to my uh, my Tapu Koko and just absolutely eat him alive. Uh, I, I could do it now, but yeah, I want Ferrothorn coming in first. And as you see, Ferrothorn isn't taking these hits well. Um. I don't know if he has Jar Ball. Clef is just far too important right now. I have no reason not to just go hard Skarmory. Yep, he does have it. And we can just... Nice. So that's exactly what we needed. Um, and so now Coco literally just comes in and Dazzling Gleams. And there's nothing you can do. Especially because the Clef is poisoned. 
and unaware. I did not expect him to be unaware with Sticky Barb. So maybe that's why he thought I was unaware. So he leaves seated because he was. But the, all the Sticky Barbs I've ever seen possessed Magic Guard for obvious reasons, right? You're going to be taking Sticky Barb otherwise. So you're almost forced to Sticky Barb. I mean, trick. Which on an unaware set is just, you know, unaware, the point of unaware is to, uh, yeah. And I have a lot less PDF than, than most things, but yeah, I think that's Scarf. I'm thinking is Teleport better here? Nah, because my clef is max PDF. I can eat whatever this Lele does. Um, Sloking gets hit, but somebody's dying um, in the upcoming turns. So uh, I think we just played cool right now. Yeah, Clef takes nothing from that. So Moonblast plus. Oh, we don't even need the Moonblast. We just soft well here. Unless he's not choiced. But I'm outside of the range of a Side Shock, Side Kick. Yeah. So it seems that it's. I'm not sure what it is. This um, soft well here. Even if it's calm mind, all we do is now. I know you're not choiced. Um, all I need to do is. Yeah, a soft well one more turn. The psychic. Ooh, that was close. That was that would have been nasty. Um, he might just be in an offensive non CM variant. Uh, I don't have U-turn on the. I, I guess I can just sandstorm. What well, basically what I was thinking is like VCM's too much. Coco can't kill him. But on that turn, if I attacked him and he psyched, he got the crit there. Clef isn't needed. Like it's not like I need Clef to win, right? But it's he has a really hard time killing it. So that's his last move. Um, and so I'll knock him out here. That's depending on if he gets a special attack drop. Uh, but we knock him out there with the moon blast. I don't think that crit mattered. That's a stab moon blast. We're discussing, we're discussing things of. So since he taunted me, uh, one you know you definitely never grass move here, cause Skarm coming in. So it's probably SD. Yeah, I was gonna say, um, which is what we want to see, and uh, we just go hard Skarmory here on his glide. Just getting, we're basically just getting him to get bring bring us to bring him to the point where Tabo Coco comes in and just cleans this game up. Um, you know, Garchomp, Finny, all those things have no real off offensive prowess right now. I want to be careful of Finny on the off chance that it is Calm Mind. So, you know, I'm not gonna let that thing set up for free. But at this point, you know, what's the Skarm doing, right? Um, it's unaware Clef and it's toxic. So there's the glide, excelente, excelente. Uh, we want him to knock us out. With iron defense here, yeah, we want you to knock us out. We go to Coco here, because the point is to position Coco to win. Well, actually, I guess Finney can't win, because I've calm mind. I keep thinking I'm regular Coco. So um, it's not life orb, is it? Okay, I was like, why is this Rillaboom so high on health? I did not pay attention to his item. Um, but that's what I said in the beginning. Like, you know, he clicked the timer really quickly, which is obviously something I've said <laughs> to ad nauseum that I do not recommend. Like, I recommend you think your decisions through because him playing that spike, the, the hazard war, the only thing affected by spikes on my team is my T-Tar. Like, traditionally, Coco has boots. Traditionally, Sloking has boots. Traditionally, Clef is going to either have boots or unaware. Lando does not take spikes. Garm doesn't take. So literally, the only thing that takes spikes on my team is T-Tar. You have a Chomp. You have a Rillaboom. You have a li almost everything on your team. In fact, literally everything on your team super effectively um, hits my tire on a tire. So it's just one of those situations. It's not your, it's not in your best interest, but, you know, you did it. So Lando, our goal here is just to de prevent the Finny from getting that free setup, right? Um, and so if we have to sticky barb our way to victory, then that is what we shall do. Uh, EQ for some damage here. Um, Sax Chomp doesn't 
Chomp doesn't die, which is best case, right? Now we get to, um, oh, we were faster. Didn't expect to be faster. Um, Slow King, yeah, Slow King never died. I didn't expect, I didn't expect that. And now we can actually just Future Sight. Um, slack off. No, Future Sight guarantees value, that's irrelevant. Scald into teleport. Scald kills teleport into to the Finny coming in on a million hazards. Oh, he goes cleft first. Interesting. Okay, that works too. Because then you're gonna take this future site. Um, yep, and that's all she wrote. So we've been waiting on. I actually probably could have went T-Tar first here, but I mean, how's Cliff, how's Finny Scarf? Okay, I was gonna say, how's Finny gonna muscle pass? Scarf was actually concerning. I didn't factor in Scarf there. I could have played it a little cleaner. Scarf crit my Cliff. He'd have to crit T-Tar and Cliff, but like if he locked himself into Hydro Pump there. Yeah, Scarf was something I didn't factor in, GG. Uh, so we're gonna grab one last one. So I have something I didn't factor in there, but um, whenever I see people play the hazard game, I assume they have something to control it if they get punished by hazard so badly. Um, and that's, you know, I, definitely something I do often, right, is assuming, well, if if a person makes X decision, then, then they've thought that decision through. And, and I don't mean like little stuff. Everybody makes mistakes, but like. In that situation, like you just never commit to to trading all the hazards with me. Is you're just like your your entire team, except Clef, got punished by that like heavily. Um, but it could also be a thing of damn, you know, that's a learning lesson for me. Um, don't let that shit happen again. Uh, you know, so works out either way. So this will be our final game. In this one, I definitely aim to remove that Rotom Heat if I can do so. Iron Defense, Skarmory, depending on what his Clef is almost unbeatable. Um, so keep Skarm at the utmost of health at all times. It's gonna be imperative in this game. Also, depending on what that, uh, depending on how he plays his Swampert and what the Clef again is and what the Mel Metal is, if it's Assault Vest, CM, Coco goes crazy. Um, Titar is solid. Um, I think I can bait him to leave Swampert in and banded Crunch twice with Titar. If possible. Sticky Barb Clef goes crazy. Um, Landers, his core purpose is going to be to guard against. Mm. Discourages Volt Switch for sure. Uh, Lander is quite useful. It doesn't KO anything in particular, but it's very difficult for him to maneuver around. And Future Sight plus... Future Sight plus what? Punishes Future Sight plus Stone Edge? Somewhat. Future Sight plus Crunch. Future Sight plus Crunch is, is decent. Um, and so the question is, who do I want to lean more towards? I think Coco shows the most promise. Um, and the thing I guard the worst against is probably the Mel. So we want to start off at the minimum with an Intimidate versus that Mel Metal. Um, I want this Swampert weakened. I want it withered. I want it destroyed. So we're going to commit to left. While the, you know, EQ would be helpful, um, I'm going to commit to removing this thing's item first. Uh, I don't want... I'm thinking EQ would do maybe 30 something. I could EQ into knockoff. I knew you wouldn't. I know it won't switch then, but then I'm staring down who. But not guarantees me. I mean, he'd never go roll him on a Swamper and a Lander. So he's Fist Death Swamper. Uh, he has Ice Beam. Interesting. Uh, Ice Beam. Very weird. Huh. That's not good for us. Flip turn could come out. That's not great for us. 
I don't like the idea of just throwing away Lando here, especially because I can't kill this after the fact. Okay. Should just rocks, but it is what it is. I need stealth rock, but as I said, I can get my stealth rocks up later. Um, him being Fizdef is somewhat helpful as far as the future of Tapu Koko. Um, Ice Beam, though. He might not have Toxic. Yeah, he doesn't have... He can't touch my Sloking with this. He can't touch my Sloking with a lot of his team. Um, yeah, that, that Ice Beam definitely put a... Because I figured, you know, Flip Turn is the best thing Swampert has. They're Toxic, right? So, and they're always Spadef. So, um, you... I knock, get a good bit. EQ after that, get another good bit. You're... If not completely in Coco range, very close. I'm surprised Rotom is what he decided was his solution. Um, um, this can't be choice. Because, you know, you Volt Switch here out into, I'm guessing, the, the monkey. Uh, this does make me wary. Trick, toxic, man. I could have fucking, damn. I could have damn scalded him, but I was like, what is he? Okay, he has some really weird sets, so I gotta be careful of that. Like he has a lot of weird shit. Um. So this is about to get future sighted. Yeah. So let's go clef here and trick. I'm gonna punish that mel metal if, it, especially if it's choice banded. Uh, cause then that'll make Skarmory, uh, a bit better if it's, I got leftovers from Miss Clef when we trade for Sticky Barb, um, is he magic guard? Let's see. Soft boil. Yep. He is. Um, a heavy slam hard. Yeah. Okay. Blessings. You know, the, the weirdness of his sets implied that he might not know that T-Tar can kill him there. Um, so, and you know, Bandit Heavy Slam is like ultra common. So, I felt relatively safe making that decision. Flip turn here makes a lot of sense. But as I said, Skarm's way too important as the Ruder as his ugly head. Um, you're going to always Skarm, always Skarm here, even if he bulks up. Which is a waste of time, frankly. No, it's not. No, it's not because Zerud, Zerud's darkest lariat goes through. Like this is actually concerning. Darkest lariat goes through. Body press damage cap uses defense. Exactly. Yeah. Gotta be careful. Let me see how much body press is doing. Okay. Okay. I'm glad I scared him out. I gotta be careful of that. Because I forgot that Dark is... If he has Crunch or something, but I don't know why you'd have Crunch. Like, Crunch literally makes no sense. So he has Volt Switch, Toxic, Overheat, I'm assuming maybe Paint Split or something along those lines. So... Um... Hmm... No, overheat obviously makes the most sense here. Um, I don't. It could VS if he's confident. He's faster than Lando. His pain split. Good. I don't mind that too much. Uh, he crunch here. Excellent. Excellent. My goal is to not let that Zerud get free, like a bunch of free setup, because I'm gonna need Coco's double dazzle to to put him to bed. Um, yeah, I have to go hard, Skarm. He doubles out, which is good for us, right? We don't want, um, let's see, Landers. So at this point, we just need a bit more damage on, we need to find out what his Mel Metal is as well. Like Coco is damn good here. Uh, Lando, Volt Switches, she expected. Um, now the question is the overheat. We need some more sand. 
uh, we need some more sand here uh, to weaken it for cocoa could double back to Lando but that's doing too much and now we just position ourselves to where the Zarud can't just set up for free so we stone edge here um, Swampert getting sacked makes sense but now Zarud can't just set up for free Mel Metal coming in makes sense we get a bit of stone edge damage here hopefully we connect um, why do I feel like it's about to be some weird Mel Metal okay 25% I'll definitely take that Ice Punch huh Ice Punch is what you committed to so if I go if I go to Skarm and Roost you go to so right now Rotom is the last component right like Rotom is like the final obstacle which is why I wish I well, I mean he has pain split so I guess that's why he, if I went if I go slow king and pivot out on Zorud so what I'll do here is I'm going to go to this Lander's theory and form Rocks punishes Zarud. Doesn't punish anything else. Knock somewhat guarantees value. Rocks. I I like Rocks a bit more. I don't think he's staying in, yeah. I didn't think he was staying in there. Uh on the off chance he DDs. He's slower than my landers, which is good info. Not sure what this Dragonite has up its sleeve, but if it's slower than Lando, I'm guessing it's a defensive variant. And so I'll opt for Clef. He has Fire Punch, but is slower than. Okay. And I've shown Sticky Barb. I've shown that I'm I'm with the trickery. So ideally, yes, we want Rotom in, so that we can Toxic it. He overheats. Great, because he's trying to pain split, but he wanted to catch my Lando. Now I get you. Now I got you. Now I ha now that I have you right where I want you. <laughs> Finally, I've been trying to catch you boys all day. Now that I've got you right where I want you, I'd like to buy all your chocolate. <laughs> Anybody get that SpongeBob reference? I'm gonna have to put it in there. Now that I have you right where I want you, I'd like to buy all your chocolate. He's smart to uh, to not let uh, to not let um, what's it called? So now we iron defense first. He showed fire punch, so I doubt he's gonna have fire blast to heal bell. Okay, so it's just a uh, okay. Yeah, I just body press spam. Um, I'll spike because he should roost it. Even if he does, I know he won't go hard. Wrote him here. Uh, if he does, kudos, kudos. Yeah, I figured not. You might have defog. I don't know how you'd fit it though. Body press again on the out chance he goes to heat. Yep, he's gonna forfeit now. Good game. Woo! Shout out to Eclipse for the squad. As I said yesterday, you know, getting back into the swing of things, I wasn't playing well. Um, and I don't like to make it sound like I have excuses. So there are times where I'll have like ridiculously long days but uh and i'll have to i just want to commit to recording because i know me and i know i'll um sometimes say ah, i'm not gonna record because i know you know i'm having this long ass day or whatever so um but i was like screw it if we lose we lose and so we're still on it with one leg in one leg in uh but yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next